What is going on guys? Thanks so much for stopping by the garage. I'm Brandon, this is Extreme Deli Drivers, and today we're gonna to go over must-have interior mods for your Jeep Commander. And if you remember in last week's video, I almost died of heat exhaustion and it is another record-setting day here in Florida. Absolutely brutal out, so I thought I would try to do something where I'm not dying of sweat <laughs> and heat exhaustion so we're going to go over some mods i've already done the jeep commander you may have seen some of these mods in previous videos but you may not have seen them because not everything i did a video on right so um we're gonna go over some of that stuff today i'm gonna try some today i've never done before we are gonna do this in one take i watch a couple other youtubers they do these one take videos every now and then um so i'm gonna give it a shot i'm gonna give it a shot uh, you're going to see some of my people from the neighborhood stopping by as someone's pulling in right now. Um, there's going to be some noise in the background, but it's going to be a little bit different and uh, it sure will turn out pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and start with the back of the Jeep. Now, as you guys know, um, not much is going on back here. One of the first mods I actually did was get one of these WeatherTech cargo mats back here. And I absolutely love this thing. I love it so much that I never, ever want to get rid of it. Um, you may be noticing that everything is kind of sunk down a little bit in here and that's because uh, a couple days ago I removed the rear seats Super easy to do. It's like five bolts whole thing comes out the things now sitting in my storage unit um, And in our next video, we're gonna be building a box that goes back here. It takes place of that rear seat Removing that third row seat man. It's it's a huge gain. The thing weighs 150 pounds So just getting that out alone is a huge huge benefit so highly recommend doing that if you don't have little kids who are sitting in the back the third row is a complete joke in these cars so just get the thing out of there um so yeah that's been removed i've been using this cargo box thing here for a while um it's been super handy and the other thing i did back here was i installed this overhead net which is pretty rad i must admit it is just screwed in to some plastic pieces with some self-tapping screws I just kind of lined it up so that it would all be kind of stretched out nicely and i think it did a pretty darn good job um again this is not going to hold a ton i wouldn't put a bowling ball up here but if you had a jacket if you had an umbrella if you have all those sleeves that your little uh you know camping chair comes with and everything else you can stick them up here you can also put stuff on top so it was like 20 dollars off amazon i'll put a link down in the description and really easy to do and kind of fun so a neat little addition there um what else do i do back here anything else i think that's it i think that's it let's go ahead and move to the front seat where all the action is this is where i would normally cut it but we're not going to cut today let's get in here Ugh. all right so let's talk about steering wheel man this this was awesome i did a video on this uh, i can't recommend upgrading your steering wheel enough right if you have a limited or an overland or a nice you know upgraded jeep commander you're going to get some cruddy leather i don't know what they put on there man but it's junky it had to be junky from day one but i got this guy off redlinegoods.com i sent my steering wheel to them and they went ahead and installed it and dude it's sick it's been on here for a while now it looks totally awesome and i uh, absolutely love it so Definitely recommend doing that. No affiliation with any of these parts or companies, by the way. I pay just like you guys pay, and uh, this is money well spent. I got this steering wheel on sale. I want to say it was like 90 bucks shipped, something like that. $90, $110, something like that. It was not a lot of money. And then to have them install it was like, I want to say like 240 bucks. So definitely worth it. Highly recommend it. Definitely do that. Let's jump, speaking of covers and stuff, let's jump over here to this guy. Now, this is one of the first things I did, and oh my god, it is totally awesome. This is a vinyl cover for your center armrest. Um, got this off Etsy, and uh, did a video on it. It's one of my most watched Jeep Commander videos, actually, because everyone knows how terrible the OEM padding is um, that comes on this center console. So, this was an awesome upgrade. You could see it's been on here for like two years. Still looks brand new. I just did wipe it down a little bit, but yeah, it's in great shape and uh it's doing the job man uh, i do wish i added a little bit more padding to this when i installed it um but the padding it comes with is decent and i've been making it work so super cool there um let's jump up to this guy you probably haven't seen this it's a little molly panel i got off of amazon link down in the description this guy's like 20 bucks it's universal but um 
it's super cool. It's it's it holds a bunch of cool stuff, right? So I got a little leather man up here um, that I got actually for a gift a real long time ago. Cool little tool. I got this little guy here. I'll put a link down in the description for this, dude. This thing is totally awesome. Um, this is a Nebo, and uh, it's a rotating head flashlight. Check it out. Boom. It can do that. It can also attach to your visor. That's how it's being held up in here. So it can attach to your visor and your hat, and then it becomes like a uh, headlamp. Um, and I love the swivel part, right? Try and do this with one hand. And boom, and dude, it's killer bright. <laughs> killer bright. And if you have it mounted up here as I do, come on, get up there. There we go. If I have, now it becomes like a map light, right? So super rad. Um, can't recommend this thing enough. I actually got in a package deal with another really cool rechargeable light. I should mention this is rechargeable, by the way. This is not running on batteries. This runs off, this gets charged off um, a little S cord. Really cool. I got my little black ice, little tree up there. And just a really cool spot to hang stuff. Um, yeah, super rad. Really happy with that. Again, 20 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong with this stuff. I'm going to actually talk about, I know this is a stupid thing to talk about. I'm talking, I'm going to talk about my sunglass mount. This little chummy. This thing is super cool. Got this off Amazon. Trying to use it with one hand. And it just does a great job holding sunglasses. They don't move. I mean, they don't move. It's You can mount it anywhere. You know, it's super easy to move around and stuff. Just gets the job done, man. Really happy with that. It was like eight bucks or something. If you need a sunglass holder, hit them up, man. Good stuff. All right. I am officially dying of heat in here. Um, maybe I should turn the car on and put the air conditioning on. Got to show you some stuff anyway with the car on, so I'm going to do it now. And I got the hatch open. I thought it was going to, like, cool the car off. But, uh, it's not. <laughs> All right, my music might kick on here in a minute. Let's talk about the stereo. This is the Toto S8. I did a video on this. And, uh, fantastic, fantastic stereo. Um, you can see there, I went ahead and uploaded an old school picture of the Commander there. I actually don't have those lights mounted like that anymore. I'll give you an update on those at some point in another video. But, um, fantastic head unit. It's basically an Android for your car. Um, can do absolutely everything. Front and rear camera. I only have the rear camera hooked up, but you can do a front camera too. Um, download all your apps in here. You want I can open my garage door. That's the radio. That's the rear camera. I should put that right now. No? No. I don't know why. I won't. Oh, maybe because I'm not in drive. It won't let me do it. Um, Google Maps, YouTube, and Pandora. And then, you know, you can go here and just... It's super quick, dude. It's, it's so awesome. So just killer. Absolutely love it. You can do any... You know, I have, well, you know what I have on here, uh, which is pretty rad for you Jeep guys, is I have J-Scan on here. Um, help me find it. There it is. J-Scan. If you don't know J-Scan, it's a little app that costs like 20 bucks, and it allows you to modify your Jeep in a whole bunch of different ways. It works for all sorts of Jeeps. Um, so if you have Jeep Wrangler or something like that, it'll work for that. So really cool little app. So I actually have it downloaded onto this. I don't have it on my phone. It's on this. Um, and then I have it so that my phone, um, which I actually have to grab in order to make this video make sense, <laughs> but my phone will actually uh, give off a hotspot the minute I get in the vehicle, and then this connects automatically. So everything just kind of connects and works out great um so uh let's talk about some of these red lights i got going on here now that i'm there i'm noticing them i have a little light there a little light there i did a video on this a while ago but the reason for those lights is 99 percent of the lights down here are out which is a common thing on these jeep commanders um and i'm assuming also jeep grand cherokees so instead of going in and soldering new lights and that whole bit i just went ahead and installed these guys now they go in place of one of these little bolts and uh dude they're seamless they they, they that, that turned out awesome that turned out awesome i would never seen that done before i saw these things online i was like dude that seems like it would work and it works sick i also have red lights down there and because the back hatch is open also i have the led footwell lights going so up here you can see the light how bright it is it's on because my rear, rear hatch is on but uh Really cheap, easy upgrade. I'll put a link down in the description. I've been mentioned. I've mentioned this in other videos and had links in other videos. But um, really cool mod, man. It brightens up in here so much. Uh, this is like one of the first things you should do when you get Jeep Commander. <laughs> I mean, this you really need to upgrade these lights. Um, let's move on. Let's move on. What should we go? Do you want to go to the CB? 
I did a video on this. Let me turn it on. Maybe we'll get someone I'm, I'm talking on here. Let's see if I can tune them in. Yep. Channel 9. Anybody on Channel 9? Channel 19, otherwise known as the Super Bowl. If you guys know anything about CBs. And I don't hear anybody on Channel 19 either. Anyway, this is the uh, President Andy 2. Um, got this off Amazon. It was like 90 bucks or something like that. Great little CB. Um, highly recommended. I like my location too. It doesn't get in my way at all. I never even know it's there. And it's easy to access if I were on the trail and needed to uh, you know, change channels or something like that. Um, it's super easy to get to. Volume is there. And it's a great little radio. Highly recommended. Um, it will also fit in this cubby. For those of you who want to install it and jam it in here, you can. The reason I didn't is because the speaker is on the bottom. And I thought that it would just be, you know, just not sound right if it was wedged in there. And, you know, CBs aren't known for their fantastic sound quality, right? They're pretty terrible. It's kind of dated technology. Um, and the sound was never good. So, um, yeah, uh, probably best not jammed into a hole uh, this size. And also, too, they do give off some heat. So that was another reason why I didn't put it here. Um, so now that we're talking about this, let's talk about my Retrievus uh, GMRS radio that I got installed down here. I installed it here because it kind of matches that. And this one is really slim. Um, so it doesn't get in my knee, it doesn't get in the way of my knee at all when I get in and out of the vehicle, which is rad. Um, cool little radio. It's like 20 watts of power and works really well. I've tested this with my Bofang handheld radio. You can get this off Amazon for like 25 bucks, man. These things are so cheap. Great little thing. Everybody should have one of these, period. You should have one of these because uh, I'll turn this guy on. I think he's on the radio. No, he's not on the radio. He's on a channel. But, um, whoops, I'm hitting the wrong button here. Let me see if I, does this still give you weather updates? 8 a.m. Check it out. High tide Sunday at 12, 24 p.m. Port Canaveral. Low tide Saturday at 5.34 p.m. High tide Saturday at 11.51 p.m. Low tide Sunday at 6.30 Come on, turn off. a.m. <laughs> All right. I'm turning that off. <laughs> At the moment, I'm spazzing here trying to figure out how to go through the things, but this can give you weather alerts as we just listen to the weather station. So no matter where you are, you can be up to date with the weather, as well as this will also um, give you just FM radio. And it sounds great. It gives you a really good, really good FM radio, which again, if there was a, an emergency or something like that, there would be broadcast over the radio and at least you'd be able to know what's going on. So for $25, totally worth it. Get one of these. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, and just a, a great thing to have. GMRS, if you don't know, is, is really cool. It's kind of like an updated CB. Um, and uh, these can work off repeaters, um, which can allow these to broadcast a great distance. So if you're ever in a trouble or something like that and you had to get word out that you needed help and you're stranded and you had no other means of communication, this would be an awesome thing to have on your person. So uh, that covers the radios, it covers the stereo. Let's talk about my mount down here for my cell phone. And you know what? I'm gonna go grab my cell phone and I'm gonna stop the video here real quick, but I'll be right back with my cell phone. All right, I'm back with my cell phone. So what I wanted to show you was that on the back of my phone, I have one of these little metal tabs, right? And then I have here a Skosh mount. And um, this thing is actually off of one of those Skosh pads that's like a weighted pad. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, it's supposed to go on your dash and kind of not move, and I tried it, and wouldn't you know, the thing slid all over the place every time I went somewhere. So I modified it by basically removing the important part and getting rid of the bean bag, and screwed it into this spot here. And now when I get in the car, that's where my cell phone goes. It's a great spot, being, you know, while driving, I can easily look down on it if I have to, but again, this is always connected to my stereo, so basically they're talking to each other. And, you know, if I have like an iPhone or something that's always has a dead battery, I ran a little charging cord, got this guy off Amazon, and uh, this is a little S cord, and cut a hole through here, ran the line, it goes directly to the back of the uh, S8. And let me show you how this works here. I'll plug this in, 
and this will start charging. All right, say that better. All right, so okay, so that's going to start charging now. And now what I can do is I can go ahead and do a um, uh, like an Apple CarPlay or a Android CarPlay in this in this case. So um, automatically connects, and you have all of your you know, Apple CarPlay, Android CarPlay apps on here. Super cool. I used to run this all the time. This used to be like how I would do it when I got in the car, but I actually stopped because I just don't really use this that often. I usually know where I'm going, so I don't really need, need Google Maps or anything like that. Um, and uh, figured out how to just basically turn the hotspot on every time I get in the car. And so now it connects wirelessly. But, you know, it is an option. It is pretty sleek. Um, this has been a really cool setup. I just kind of thought of it one day and I was like, dude, that would be an awesome place to mount a cell phone because there are not a lot of great cell phone spots to mount in here, unfortunately. Unlike the XB, had a great spot down here. Um, this one does not. So, um, real happy with that mount. Super convenient. If you, if you have a car, you have a cell phone and you're always looking for a place to mount it. And if you have an iPhone, you're always looking for a way to charge it. And this is a nice, clean setup. Doesn't get in the way of the shifter or anything like that. Um, so, super rad. I guess I should talk about how the majority of the dash has been wrapped too, huh? We didn't talk about that. We didn't talk about how the, uh, this used to have simulated wood side paneling um, here, all through the dash here and over there. Um, I went ahead and actually had it wrapped with a brushed aluminum. It's really hard to see the grain. Maybe if I open the door, you can see it better. Um, but dude, it's so rad. It's so cool. You know, carbon fibers used to be really popular a couple years ago. That's what you, everybody used to wrap their stuff in. Um, but uh, this is modern. It's super cool. If you look at newer cars, Mercedes, uh, even like the, the new Jeep Grand Wagoneers and stuff like that, they come with this really nice looking grained stuff. And uh, this, this subtle brushed aluminum look is awesome. So the guys at ANG Graphics hooked me up there with that. And uh, we're coming to the end here. I guess I should talk about my WeatherTech floor mats up front. Again, these are awesome. I have them here. I also have them in the back seat back here. Um, totally recommend them, man. They're great. And, you know, they're a little bit expensive, but they're worth it. The, the khaki is not 100% match, um, but it's close enough. And the reason why I want khaki in the front and in the back is because I didn't want the, the car to be, have too much black inside i really like a light colored interior so i didn't want to just all put black there and you know nothing will show i really don't care if it shows or not what i care about is i just don't want everything so dark um so that's why i went with khaki super happy with those i've had them for a long time they're super easy to clean and they are expensive but they're well worth it and floor mats take a beating so uh happily recommend those we're coming to the end here. We're coming to the end. I'm looking around thinking of things to talk about and how could I forget my voltometer that I installed here. This not only is a voltometer, but it also charges. It has a quick charge S cord um, and then it has a regular charge S cord. Super cool. I took out the old um, cigarette lighter and got this guy in there. I had to do a little bit of manipulation <laughs> to get this guy to fit properly but it's a really cool thing i wired it up wrong i wanted it to be on when the car was on but uh the way i wired it up is it turns on and off with a button so that's on me i should have picked a better place to get power from when i did it i don't remember actually where i did pick to get power from Ooh, somebody's on the cv i'm going to turn this off before i forget about um but yeah that would that would have been smart to have this just come on when the car's on uh that way i don't leave it on and have an issue but got this guy off amazon like 18 dollars or something such a great tool to have i have had battery issues in this vehicle it has a new battery um because it it died on me and this helped me diagnose what the problem was super easy get in here hit a button find out what the voltage is and realize that it was too low so uh really cool tool to have if your car's ever acting up not starting right something's going on always check here and you can find out if it's going to be you know your battery so what else what else what else um i don't know man i think that's about it i do have a little clip up here that i got this off amazon this is for this to go up here and click up here um i like this mount 
because when it's hot out, I get good flow from the air conditioner, right? <laughs> and also too, this has an ability, I'll turn it on here. This has an ability to be basically hands-free, right? So if you're on the trail and you're driving and you're talking with somebody who's in front of you or you're following or someone who's behind you, you don't have to stop and hit the button every time you know the transmit button to talk to somebody you could put this on kind of like a wireless speaker phone and then you can just drive and talk and not have to worry about hitting buttons so that's why the mount is up here um, it works out 99% of the time I actually leave it up there um, because like I said man I need the air conditioning <laughs> I need the air conditioning flow um, but yeah super cool this retrieve is I did a video on this and uh, R8 what is it, the RA86? RA86, I'll put a link down in the description. It's like $120. Uh, it, dude, it's just as good as the Midland. It's cheaper, and it also has more wattage. So if you're thinking about getting yourself a uh, wired GMRS, that's the way to go, man. Really good deal. And I have it mounted over there. Can you see it? The little Midland Ghost antenna. Super cool mount, really popular with Tacoma guys or uh, Forerunner guys. They use those, and so I copied them. <laughs> it's super clean mount. But, uh, yeah, man. I think that's it. I think that's it. Let me know down in the comments what I've been leaving out. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video. And, uh, turn the truck off. I'll get out of here. As it may rain. I don't know if it's going to rain or not. It might. But anyway, guys, yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think of this video. Let me know any kind of interior mods that you made because, man, I'm always looking. I'm always looking for better stuff. So if you have some interior mods that you've done that you're really happy with, let me know down in the comments so I can copy them. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, next week we're building a box for the back of the cargo here, right? It's going to be rad. I already right, have some wood. Sure turn out cool. And believe me, I'm not a carpenter. So it's going to be really interesting. I hope it's going to turn out cool. We'll see. But anyway, links for everything down in the description. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Later.